DeAndre Hopkins, sort of out of the blue yesterday, tweeted out, uh, Who's ever, whoever's in my future wide receiver group, I promise I will make your job easy. Why do you think he felt compelled or necessary or just had it on his mind to tweet that, Robert? Rich, I think DeAndre or DeHop, you know, put that out there because there are certain receivers or certain position groups that always feel a certain type of way when the team or the fans or the media starts perpetuating stories or pushing stories about them joining the team. Why? The natural inclination is to think D hop joins the team and now my targets are gone away. Mm. Or if I'm the third receiver, I'm now the fourth receiver. Well, that's, that's the reality of it. So I think what D hop is trying to do is get the receiver rooms of the teams that are looking at him or that he's looking to go to, to understand I'm coming here, and yes, I might take away some of your targets, but I'm going to increase the quality of the targets you do get because you're not going to have all the attention of the defense. That's where I think it is, Uh, and I think it's actually a beautifully worded tweet as well. Kudos to him. So there's been, I guess, hmm, how do I follow up here? So so he, he might have identified a place where he'd like to go, and he's heard uh, through grapevines that uh, players, you know, would not like his presence there because it does eat into their their reps or it eats into their, you know, targets or general managers might be concerned about that and he's sending that out there on Twitter? Is that what you're saying? Do you think? I don't think it's – Rich, I don't think it's general managers. You know, I don't think most players – you know, trying to talk to GMs or head coaches through Twitter probably isn't the best avenue <laughs> to, to make that happen. Yes. I, I do think it has to do with players. Um, and, and I'm obviously, we're just speculating yeah. here. Yeah. But I did see Devontae Parker's, you know, press conference when they asked him about D-Hop. And, you know, I'm not saying that Devontae was upset or anything like that, but it was more of like the Patriot way, you know, we're good here, uh, next question. I think D Hop maybe fills some of that, uh, and like I said, that's pure speculation. But at the end of the day, he's just trying to let the groups know, like, yeah, I'm coming in, and and I'll probably be the number one, but I'm gonna also make your job easier with targets. I'm here to be a mentor to you guys so you can learn. You know, he's he's 30 30 plus years old. He understands where he's at in his career, but he's still a number one wide receiver. And I think there's two teams that that really need him. It's New England and, and Tennessee. Tennessee. Okay, and those are the places. That's obviously where he visited. Um, what, what about uh, a team that's loaded already, bringing him in and just adding him on top? What What about Kansas City? What about anybody like that? Do you think D Hop can wind up there? Dallas, maybe another one. What do you think about those possibilities, Robert? Well, I'll, I'll do that in reverse, Rich. Dallas is an issue just because of the amount of bodies that they have there with C D Lamb, Brandon Cooks. You got Gallup there. Um, they would have to do something with that room hmm. to to make it viable to bring in a D hop, especially with McCarthy wanting to move more towards a run centric offense. Bringing in another wide receiver now being four deep with really talented wide receivers. I mean, they might that be one of the better rooms in, in all of the NFL. I think that makes it a little tough for them. When you talk about Kansas City, I always thought that D hop to Kansas City was a was a great fit. Uh, you know, Kansas City obviously lost Juju Smith-Schuster to the Patriots. I just feel like he could fit a void there, give him another number one, another chain mover uh, to go along with Travis Kelsey, and then they've got the speed on the outside with MVF and the guys. So I I like the Chiefs. I'm not so big on him going to the Cowboys. The reason I say Tennessee is because they need, you know, the bodies. They got Traylon Burks. You're talking about um, Kyle Phillips as their slot receiver, and then Westbrook, uh, uh, Kenne. Akina, I mean, um, at wide receiver at their number two, you know, bringing in D Hop there would definitely fit the mold. The question is, are they ready to win now? If you ask, you know, Coach Vrabel, yes. But to the rest of the league, is that a spot that D Hop is going to be able to go win a championship in? And there might be some 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 split views on that. So you think Dalvin to Miami, Dalvin Cook to Miami, just looks so simple um, that it's going to it's going to happen, or they have a pretty loaded room themselves right there. Robert, yeah, what do you think there? Yeah, they do have a loaded room, and and the coach Mike McDaniel was very smart. The you know past couple of days to kind of talk up that room so they don't you know feel the not necessarily the pressure, but uh, feel like they're not liked because of the connection of Dalvin to Miami. Now Dalvin in Miami makes sense. It's his hometown, hometown team. Uh, he's a dynamic back. You know, coming off of four consecutive thousand yard 
uh, season still has a lot in the tank. But I know these two guys want to team up. At least that's what Dalvin stated, uh, I think, yesterday or, or two couple days ago on Adam Schefter's podcast. Yeah. And, and the problem with that is NFL players just don't have the leverage or the power like NBA players do to say, hey, we want to team up, and then they make it happen. So the reality is both these guys want big paydays, as they should. Both guys want to be on a contender because, you know, they know where they're at in their careers. But not many true contenders this year can afford both of them, to bring them both in. Um, and that's why I point to New England, because I think New England can actually bring them both in, and it would increase their chances of being a Super Bowl contender overnight. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 